This is Ian, publisher of In 30 Minutes Guides, including Social Security in 30 Minutes by author Emily Pogue. And one thing that came up in Emily's book was the question of whether your Social Security earnings are taxable if you're filing as a married couple. If this video helps, please take a moment to like it and follow me. And let's get into what Emily was talking about. Um, she has a chart in there, which kind of explains some thresholds there. But before you look at the numbers, it's really important to understand what these numbers mean. This is not the same as your net income or your Social Security earnings. Rather, it's a special number Social Security refers to as base amounts. It's basically a type of combined income, and there's a formula. It's half of your annual Social Security benefits plus other income. Other income could be a job. It could be a distribution from some sort of retirement account uh, that is taxable, or it could be like gambling earnings or something like that. And that equals your combined income, the base amount that Social Security and IRS uses to determine if you have to pay taxes on your Social Security earnings. So this is the way that it works. If you're married filing jointly and your base amount is your combined income according to the base amount formula is below $32,000. Let's say you're getting $20,000 as a couple uh, from Social Security benefits and another $10,000 from some other source. That means you'll be below $32,000 and you will not have to pay taxes on your Social Security incomes. However, if your earnings are between $32,000 and $44,000 as a married couple and including your Social Security benefits by this, by this formula right here, that means you'll need to pay 50% of, of taxes, 50% uh, of your benefits are taxable. It doesn't mean you're paying a 50% rate. It just means of the, of the, of the uh, benefits that you do receive, like let's say it's $20,000 $20, combined in Social Security benefits, you'll be subject to taxes for $10,000, whatever your nominal tax rate is or whatever the, uh, the, the tax rate that you should be paying uh, based, on, based on the IRS calculation. And then if you're Base amount is more than $44,000, so that is Social Security income, Social Security earnings plus your other earnings, which could might be gambling or job or retirement distribution or something like that. If if it's more than $44,000 as a as a married filing jointly, 85% of your Social Security benefits are taxable, and this may seem to be very extreme, uh, but these rules have been in place for a long time since the 1980s or 1990s, and sadly, as time has gone up, these levels have not gone up. So more and more people are getting nailed by the fact that oh actually their earnings social security plus other plus other forms of income that's driving them above this threshold and then they have to pay taxes on their on their on their federal tax return now if you want to find out exactly how much you need to pay there's actually a really good resource it's on the irs website it is are my social security or railroad retirement tier one benefits taxable so find this page on the irs.gov website scroll down and you'll see that you have to have some information about your earnings uh, from Social Security and from other sources, and then you'll have to use this uh, wizard that they have. Press begin and it will walk you through the process. It takes about 10 minutes, but that can give you a better idea of how much money you may owe to the government uh, from your Social Security retirement benefits. It's not an ideal situation uh, because there's no, there's no, uh, these levels are not indexed to inflation. They basically make it every year as inflation goes up, more and more people are subject to it. So it's very unfortunate if you're married filing jointly that you will be paying taxes on your Social Security earnings. But that's the way that the rules work. And until Congress gets its acts together and figures out a way to make Social Security work for retirees, I'm afraid we're going to be stuck with the state of affairs for a long period of time. For more information on how to get the most out of Social Security benefits, check out the book Social Security in 30 Minutes, Volume 1 and 2. Volume 1 covers retirement benefits. Volume 2, uh, disability benefits by author Emily Pogue. It's available from in30minutes.com or any online book retailer. Thank you so much for watching.